Hello everybody, this is Trina. I am excited to share with you the January um, special. It's a Magnolia Frame Kit. And as you can tell, it is a good sized frame. Like this is, these are the two ideas that they come with. Of course you can mix and match and do whatever it is that you want to do with this. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be putting these words in mine. I actually want to put a quote. Um, I have yet to figure out exactly which quote I want because there's so many, so many good ones that really, you know, touch my soul. So I am still undecided about that, but I have time to um, go ahead and figure out what it is that I want to do. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have not looked this over other than, you know, reading what other people have said and that it takes time and um, some tips and tricks about the leaves and all that good stuff so I'm sure that I'm going to be fast forwarding through some of this simply because of time's sake um, there's a lot of leaves a lot of flower petals putting all of the things together I will show you how I do um, like a flower and then um, I will fast forward through me making all of the other flowers and then I'll you know it just saves time. My upload speed is not the greatest. It takes a while to upload my videos, so that'll help out that way so you guys actually get the videos. And um, hopefully it will inspire you guys to create uh, this for yourselves. Now, this, I, I was able to get this because I'm a consultant. I was able to get this before it goes live and it's before Christmas. So. Um, I'm thinking that I, ha cause I have an open space above my fireplace and it, I have a, you know, like a, I think it's, I don't know if it's, a, it's not a swag. It's just a, um, some green, uh, greenery and then some lights and some bulbs up there. And, um, on my, on the, up above my fireplace and it just, the wall looks so bare. So I figured, you know what? This would be perfect. I could, I'm thinking of doing, um, in all things give thanks, um, because the, that's perfect for all seasons. And that's something that I want to teach my children. And the, if they see it every day, then maybe, just maybe, it'll soak in there, you know? So um, we can all use a little reminder to give thanks. Um, even those that come in my house, everybody, every human on the earth really so um I figured I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and get this hung out because it looks really naked up there so I am gonna go ahead and get started so I have not like I said opened this up before so um it's this is all gonna be new to me I'm not sure I mean I'm assuming it's gonna be much like the um the letters kit I cannot remember love letters kit so, um, I mean, it's printed much like the Love Letters kit. So that means that it's going to be fairly easy to put a, put together. Time-consuming probably, but it does look like it's going to be easy. So these are some of the ideas that they have. That's kind of awesome. You can see all these different ideas, a big picture. I don't have a, big, a picture that that's that big, but... Um, I did see one where they somebody who one of somebody who created this another consultant had put um a piece of tape on the back and covered the back and so she could switch out the whatever's inside like the picture or the saying or whatever you wanted with something else it, you could even do like layouts do, you know a frame for to show off your layouts if you wanted to and i think that would be see the kind of awesome to do it that way um, also so these are the instructions so lots and lots of ideas in here and of course you can mix and match and make this your own that's the whole point of it um, and so I mean it really is pretty easy move the die cuts from the sheet as needed fold at score line fold, continue folding remaining leaves 
and then the, that would be the leaves are done. Now I saw a tip that you can use liquid glass to uh, go over the top of the leaves and I think I'm going to do that simply because I kind of I looked up a magnolia flower um, on Google and um, they definitely have shiny leaves and these are not shiny I mean that's kind of hard to print really so um, this is a great idea so um, when I get to that I will let you guys know of course that's gonna make this take a little bit longer but I will just show you how to do it and then I'll do it all the rest in fast forward or just skip through it um, then the flowers remove die cuts from sheet curl petals at ends as desired for dimension um, begin with largest layer, attach layers using liquid glass, continue stacking all the layers, and then you attach the gold floral center. So that's pretty simple as well, just building the layers up. The layers are not separate petals, which makes it much easier, quicker. And then you just assemble however you want. You attach it to your frame. And then, um, and then you choose your color of frame choice they have two choices um, I don't remember what the other one was ah yes it's like a whitewash um, frame or you get the dark frame and I think I'm gonna go because my walls are blue I think I'm gonna go or like a dark smoky blue I think I'm gonna go with this here um, with that color but so you attach the flowers and then you poke the leaves in so it really should be fairly simple I'm pretty pretty well versed in florals watch now that I said that I'm gonna screw up <laughs> that's totally how it works for me so okay so these are the flower centers large flower centers medium flower centers so it tells you exactly what is what which is awesome and then you've got your um, little uh, sprigs I don't know what they're called sprigs, but I'm calling them sprigs. Uh, we have large flowers, medium flowers, so you can pull them out as you go, which is perfect because if you pull out a large flower, you can pull out a large center to go with it. And it has all, it has them divided so that you know which ones go with what. So that's easy. Uh, now, I mean, you, you could in essence, and this is magnolia. Magnolias are generally white or pink, um, but you could make this, the flowers, you know, you could color them with inks or watercolor and make them different colors if you wanted to. Now, if you do that, you do have to be aware that too much water would probably damage the paper itself and it wouldn't look so hot. So you do want to take into that, that into account, but you can, like I said, if you wanted say red flowers you could do red flowers instead um, that's totally an option or pink I guess red flower, red flowers pink flowers blue flowers your choice that's one of the great things about these kits is you can make them all your own so I have brought out the New England Ivy uh, to go around the edges of the leaves and I will show you if I can you can kind of see that they have white edges and this is not you know you don't necessarily have to do this but I really like the idea of making those a little bit darker because when you look at a leaf you see the light and then around the edges is just naturally darker because the light doesn't hit it so I kind of wanted to go ahead and do that as well so this is the shiplap background and then inside of this frame we have love and home you can pull that out if you guys hear a big crash it's just the wind <laughs> and that frame like this frame I don't even remember what size this frame ends up being um, I don't know that it actually says. Okay, well, it doesn't say the size of the frame, but I am going to gauge it off of this, and I'm going to say probably 15 by 15. So it is a good size frame. Love, and that's the first one, and then we have. Uh, 
Are you serious? I thought this was for one, but it's for two. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. I was like, no way. Okay, so this is the base of the frame. So what you'll do is it's kind of got it mapped out where you need to place your... Um, shiplap piece right inside those brackets and then there's another piece oh I wonder where the other frame was it's on the back side of the brown frame so you want definitely get one of the other okay so this is definitely just just a kit for one I was like, no way, there's two. You could probably make two if you really, 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 really wanted to. So that would go over the top of this. And then this would go on that. And the back side has the lighter color. So it looks pretty easy to do. I just have to figure out what what adhesive I'm going to use because last time I used adhesive it left kind of a like attachment lines and I don't really like that so um, I don't know that I want to do that so I'm going to just work on the other parts first and set this part aside so these are I don't know if you can see those these those are so so you can hang it which is kind of awesome you can also probably use the 3m strips I'm not sure exactly how much you want like the weight that you want to, to do but so each of the 3m strips have specific weights that they hold so, all right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get started on the leaves just so that I can show you how to do leaves. These are very simple. You just pop them out. like extremely simple to pop out like you pop them out without meaning to pop them out because they're so easy to pop out Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with one of them. So if you can see, if I can get that to show up well, you can see that it's got a score line on it here. You can kind of see that. So that is the one that where you're going to want to fold it in half to give it some shape like that. Now me, I um, have a foam tool that I like to use and kind of add a little dimension to it. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. So we'll fold it first and then kind of go over the back and that will make it kind of curved like a leaf does. So it will still be bent, but it will be curved at the same time, if that makes sense. So you'll still have your leaf curve. And then I'm going to go ahead and I've got a piece of wax paper. Not exactly sure where I'm gonna put it. Um, I think I might just 
grab, let's see. Um, I don't know if I want to do this one or not. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this and I'm just going to go around the edges. That wind is something else, I tell you what. And just get the edges. Oh, that's a spot. Just get the edges dark. I might just put it over the top of it. Look. Let's see if I can do that. That's pretty easy. And that definitely gets it. Here we go. So then we've got a little bit more like that. And then we're going to do the liquid glass for the gloss. I don't know if it's on its still clogged. My daughter used it so she's got like fuzzies on it. Just do a little dollop there. You could use a like a rubber paintbrush if you wanted to or just rub your hands around on there. Your finger. Might need a little bit more than that. And this will take some time to dry. You just want to make sure you get all the edges nice and covered. And then as they dry, they will look like a magnolia leaf. One. All right, so I will bring that back when it's dry and show you how it looks. And then I will go ahead and do the rest of these. And I'm going to give you guys a pause so that I can get these completed because this is going to probably take about, I would say, about a half hour for all the leaves. And that's what the whole process. I mean, you don't have to do the whole process like I'm doing it. You can skip like the liquid glass and you can skip the uh, the curving and all that and the ink if you wanted to. It's totally up to you and it wouldn't take near as much time. So, but I'm going to go ahead and do this to my liking. So I will be back right, in just a minute. So I went ahead and did all these leaves. And as you can see, they are shiny and they are curved. And honestly, I think some of the curve actually went out of them once I put the um, the uh, liquid glass on there. So I'm I'm perfectly fine with that, though. I'm not too worried about it. I did, um, as you can see, the edges like that's the back. You can see there's no dark edge there. Hopefully that'll sh start showing up here. And then on the front you can see where I've inked the edges. Now what I ended up doing was I just got one of these and I took my little ink pad thing, blending pad thing, and just went around the edge. It went so much faster um, and I got, got it done. This was all done in about a half hour and then um, maybe 45 minutes. And then um, the power went out, so I couldn't do any more. So here I am. This is where I kind of ended up. And I figured we could go move on from here and do some flowers. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do a large flower. I can get these to pop out nicely. I'm always afraid they're going to tear. They're usually pretty easy to, t to pop out, but... Sometimes there's those stubborn ones. That one that I'm just I just know will rip if I just keep going the direction I'm going. There we go. So that will be the first one. 
and I did reference uh, a magnolia just to see kind of what it ends up like and their representation of it is pretty spot on um, of course you could always you know everything can always be more specifically like what you're you know going like a flower but I think this is actually a very good re representation of the magnolia flower so magnolias are white, so that's the large flower. It trims it off here, or shows a line here, showing you where the large flower begins and ends. So we'll go ahead and start with that. And we'll need a large flower center. So these ones should be able to just pop out. that pretty simple and this one is uh, called large flowers so that will work out just fine okay so what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do what am I gonna do I I can't help myself I have to do the uh, curving now if I remember right they curve much more in like the tips curve in more than they curve out so it's all a cupped flower so the petals are all cupped so I'm going to try to recreate that with this Go ahead and do this to each of the petals. The harder you push, the more curved you get. So that's something to consider, but you don't want to push too hard too fast because if you do, you'll crease the, crease the um, petal. So you kind of want to go in stages where you do it a little bit and then you just keep going and add a, just a tiny bit more pressure each time. As you can see the whole thing is starting to curl up. And you could technically roll the edges in a little bit if you wanted to. Just kind of press it down with your with your finger if you wanted to curl it in a little bit more. Now this is the, the smallest piece on the inside, so it doesn't matter whether you do that or not. Um, I noticed on a lot of the magnolia flowers that I saw, their very top edges curl in just a little bit on the outside petals. So on the inside, you probably wouldn't want to do that. Those ones are a little bit more open. And they actually have tools that do this. Um, they, they're not paper piercers, I can guarantee that. But um, this one works pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to all three. And the larger ones, you'll just need to just do a little larger of circles. and you'll start seeing them curve up. The more you curve in the center, the more they curve up and around, like that. Probably easier to just do the petals first. This is a very old, uh, close to my heart, paper piercer. They've gotten a new one since, but this one still works great, so... And it works great for my petal curving. That's what it's called. I don't even know if that's what it's called. Mm. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do this one off camera. Alrighty, so this is the last part of these petals and I'm going to go ahead and curve the inside. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rub the center of this as well. Because I want it, want them to stick up a little bit in a curved fashion, like the center of a flower. That did a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get our uh, liquid glass. This will help. Using the liquid glass will help make sure that if they stay put. I'm going to go ahead and move this down here. I'm just going to add a little dollop of liquid glass. Oh, come on, you can do it. Into the center. And then I'm going to add this one on top, and I'm going to turn this one a little bit so that it's right in line with the back one. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the smaller one and you can either put it down here, which might work. Just need a little dollop. And then I'm going to turn this one so that it goes, the petals are in between these other petals, like so. Now if you get any extra you can, I mean, it's probably going to be covered by this anyways, but you can clean it up if you really need to. Just wipe it up Get it with your hand as well. There we go. I just want to make sure that it's sitting where it needs to sit. And because you're only putting the glue in the center here, you can, you'll be able to maneuver the flower, the, le the petals where you want them to be once they're um, done. Put, add a little bit of glue on that and put it right down in the center. And there you have your magnolia flower. And then you'll have these to tuck in behind. that. Isn't that pretty? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the rest of the flowers and um, uh, that will probably take me about a half hour as well because I'm going to be doing the curving of the petals and everything. So I will see you guys once they're all done. Hello everybody, I'm back. Um, I managed to get all of the flowers together and all uh, I punched these out just because that was one of the last things that I had to do and so I am going to go ahead and um, put the frame together with you guys Let's scoot those aside this is a pretty big frame so um, I'm going to look at the instructions that's done that's done now I got 
I get to adhere the shiplap to the center, attach the frame to the front of the backing using liquid glass, and then um, I'm going to put my overlay on. And now it does say to um, the when you do the pa adhere the papers, you want to use your tape runner, whatever tape runner that is. Um, and then for the frame, the front uh, frame and the back, if you want to adhere those together, you do that with the liquid glass or a liquid adhesive. So um, that's kind of what I'm going to do. Um, and then we'll go from there. I'm thinking I want something similar to this because I think that will allow me to put whatever type of uh, sentiment inside. I have yet to design that. I'm going to cut that on my silhouette and um, uh, I think, I don't know if I'm going to do it out of paper or if I'm going to do it out of vinyl. It kind of all depends on how well it cuts, <laughs> really. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put the frame together and then we will go from there. So I do kind of want to check this. Um, I want to see how, I, I want to say this is a 12 by 12 piece of, let's see, what do I want to use? I'm going to go ahead and use a 12 by 12 piece of paper and see if it fits because my ruler is uh, in the other room. So, okay, so it's a little bit bigger than the 12 by 12, I think. Either that or the frame is cut just a little bit smaller. Oh, it would fit. A, it fits a 12 by 12 perfectly. So if you were to use, I mean, you could obviously do the background in anything you wanted if you have 12 by 12 paper. So this is the size of a 12 by 12 piece of paper, which is awesome. So that means that you can use this, or like, you know, I mean. I don't know that I would want to use this one, but I mean, there are, and this one's a little busy on the busy side, but there are other options out there if you wanted. So that's kind of exciting to know so that I can change it out if I want. If, um, if another, if I wanted to do, I mean, there's just so many options of what you could do with it. Um, if there's a different color of shiplap or something like that that you wanted to do or like the snowflakes that one would be cute there's I mean it also just goes to show you that you can definitely um, uh, I'm trying to make sure I put this back where I'm supposed to there we go uh, you can definitely uh, make this into a like a 12 by 12 scrapbook page if you wanted to with a frame so, um, because 12 by 12 fits perfectly in there. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere these down. ATG. These are handy dandy rubber erasers. Uh, if they, you can find them in all different types of places. However, if you, um, I will leave a link to it in the description box below because it is handy dandy, and you can find it on my um, my website, close to my heart website. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure all of the goop is on. Um, side and I'm not sure which way do I want it to go horizontal I think I want it to go horizontal and I think I want it to go this way why I have no idea but ew. okay so as long as I get it right inside of those that should be good and then this should be able to fit right over the top it feels just a tiniest bit bigger than the frame itself, or than the backing, which is fine because it still fits this perfectly. So I am going to go ahead, I'm not sure if I want to make that a hinge or not, 
because this does cover a little bit of the paper, like an eighth of an inch on each side, or a quarter of an inch total, something like that. I don't know that I'm actually gonna change it though, is the thing, so I might as well just stick it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe stick this down and then get this even on here. And then there we go, like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down. Okay, so good luck on this part, huh? <laughs> okay, so I know it's not straight on my, on the back, backing, but I want to make sure that these inner parts are lined up because the outside is, oh, it, it, it seems to be lined up just fine. So I just want to make sure that we're lined up left to right just fine and top to bottom just fine. And it feels like we need to go up just the tiniest bit. It seems to not want to be working with me here. Maybe I'm just pulling too hard. I don't know. It seems kind of bowed a little bit here on the bottom. I'm not sure why. Okay. I was just pulling it too hard. Hopefully that stays down because I ripped it up a couple times. We'll just make sure that goes up. I mean, I did put enough, I think I put enough adhesive on there, don't you think? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pull these out because, well, I don't even know if I'll be using that particular type of hanging, but we'll see. Um, I may just use the command strips, depends on the strength of it, because my walls have texture to them, so they don't like to stick very much. I'm going to go ahead and go with that, and I'm going to use the liquid adhesive as suggested. I mean, hot glue would work too, now that I think about it, um, but I already have this right here, and I don't want to turn my hot glue gun on and all that grand stuff, so I'm just going to poke a hole in the top of this thing. Oh, come on. Come on, you can do it. Oh, yes, there we go. So I am not doing it pretty. No pretty like here. Just on we go. And then we're going to flip it and sit her down. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to bump you guys. And with the liquid adhesive, you have a little bit of time to move things around a little bit so that it looks and fits well.
All right, so that is that. And you want to give it like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes time to um, dry. And you can, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like I need to do my sentiment first. Um, so, alrighty, so I've already got my frame here, and I'm going to go ahead and type out my words, and, um, i got to figure out exactly, you know, where I want to put them, and which fonts I want to use, and so I'm going to fill around with the fonts a little bit. Um, I was really surprised because... This didn't take me near as long as I thought it would. I thought I was going to have a lot longer of taking, you know, clicking through the different fonts and trying to figure out what I want to mix and match. And it actually went together really fast. Um, I do have a couple of favorites that I have. Um, I'll have those linked in the description box below. Um, or at least, I'll probably link them just because it's easier. Um, I don't even remember the names of them now, but you can see that I kind of switched back and forth. And then I'm trying to figure out exactly how big I want the words and how, you know, where I want them to be as well. And so I'm also making sure that I get uh, the punctuation in there as well. And then um, up here for the word eat, I decide it's too thin. I need it to be a little bit thicker of a you know font. So I went and added a um, outline, and that just made it big, wider, a thicker font. So that worked out pretty good. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to separate all of the letters because some of them are overlapped and I wanted to keep them overlapped. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take them apart so we'll, I will ungroup them and then I will um, weld the two pieces that I want to weld together. And then um, that will make sure that they are cut together without cutting out each letter from the other letters, if that makes sense. Um, so here I'm just doing the period. I needed to make sure that it wasn't a square period because that wouldn't have fit in the font. It would have looked strange, so I went for the same font. And I'm just making sure it's all going to fit. And all right, so I just showed you guys how I did my words here and don't mind me this is one of my old mats but it I re <laughs> I re st stickied it and it, it works great even with this cut out um, that was like one of my first tries on my silhouette and I figured out that you don't need to push put the pressure up so high so um, this let me see I should have decent lighting going on here and I toned down this light a little bit, so that should look yeah, pretty even. Okay, so this is my words that I'm going to put in here. And I'm starting to think that I needed them to be a little bit bigger, but I think with the white background, we should be okay. Now, I was going to do one about, um, in all things, give thanks. And I will probably do another one with that, um, with some other type of project, I got to thinking about where I'm going to put this and in my house. And I don't, I don't know where I didn't know. I decided I kind of put it up where above my fireplace and it was way too small for the space. So I decided, you know what, there's a, I've got a spot above my kitchen sink and it's above a window and I think it will go, it'll, it's a, a decent size it's much n narrower than the fireplace walls so um, I decided to move it to that so in doing that or making that decision I kind of need to change up what it says um, that would work for the kitchen but 
Um, I will have to link a video. I don't know if I'm going to link the video or not. Um, one of the video, the ladies that I watch, I do, I watch all kinds of things like ten, uh, Traveler's Notebooks and Mixed Media and scrapbooking and all card making. I, I watch painting and drawing. I, I mean, I do all kinds of videos. Um, but, I, and I, that's why I don't remember her name, but um, one of the things she was talking about was eat, eat good, feel good was one of the stamps she used. And I was like, that is perfect. So I decided I was going to use that as my uh, word in my kitchen because I think that would work great. Um, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm debating on how I want to get want to take this off of here because I don't want to rip it or tear it or anything like that but I don't want to stick anything to it and have it tear off the front either so um, this cardstock is close to my heart cardstock it's the um, charcoal color and I am loving that color actually so I think I'm gonna get myself a nice little um, pack or two of it so I can bring that I really like that color it's not black and it's not gray it is gray but it's a very dark gray so it's I love it it's not too heavy like the black is see that's yeah black and the charcoal but it it gives weight but not too much so um, I'm going to go ahead and try to pull this off of here yeah and I try to do it gently so I'm not tearing anything and what I'm gonna try to do is pull off the ones that are all connected I think first now that I think about it I have the cutout I cut around it so this is going to be the cutout and I'm just going to figure out where I want this and then lay them in their place so I think that will make life a whole lot easier um, I was trying to think of how I was going to get this back space like it needs to be that's a perfect way to do it and I'm not sure if I don't think because of how delicate these letters are. I don't think I want to color the edges of them. I was debating it, but I just don't think, I don't think I do. I think it would look nice, but I don't think I want to, I don't want to take the chance of damaging these pieces. So I am going to go ahead and pull these off uh, and I'm going right to figure out exactly where I want this. <sighs> set over Christmas week. I was hoping to have this done before then, but it didn't didn't happen. Life got too busy, so I kind of want to imagine leaves and stuff, and flowers and stuff here. And so yeah, I'm thinking right there is probably good. And maybe I can scoot it over just a little bit so that the actual words are centered. And then we can go from there. So what am I going to use? I am going to go ahead and use my uh, two-way glue pen. And where am I starting? I don't know where I'm starting. Let's start with E. Hmm. I'm going to need something to put this on. I'll use this. This is part of my next project, one of my next, pro one of my next projects. So let's just go ahead and use this to put the adhesive on the back. And then, oh, I 
losing them. My arm's catching them. All of them. Okay. And then we'll work our way over, I guess. Stick it down, and then let's see, where's the T? There we go. This one's a little bigger. This one goes here. And that should go right on there like that. See? That fits perfect. Make sure that get gets put down. And then I can just go ahead and do keep this going. Now I'm gonna move these off of here just so they don't get in the way. And I will do this and I will come back and give you guys good the big reveal. Alright, this is my last piece. And I hope this comes off easy. Without tearing anything or sticking anything. Stick a little bit down here. I'll just re-glue this. Alright, that all looks good. Is it read readable? Readable. Ha! Ah! Readable. Legible. Definitely legible, because I ain't my handwriting. Okay, so the last step for this is placing my flowers. So I I'm not exactly sure which direction I want to go. I know that I want to add flowers, different size flowers, different shaped flowers. I really like those words. I hope you can see it from above in my kitchen. <laughs> They're not very like bold. But. And then I think I'm going to put these on here how I want them to be. And then. I liked it better when it was like, I don't know how I like it. Ugh. Okay, I'm like, I'm like a one, three, five, seven, nine kind of person, so when I have two large ones, it kind of throws me off here a little bit, but if I take that out, it's just going to, I don't know, it's going to be awkward. Awkward. And you want to be able to read it, and you're going to be down low, so you're going to want this, like, here, and then maybe a bunch of these here, like so, and then little guys in here. And you don't have to use all of them. That's, I think that's the part that I'm going to have an issue with, is using them all, or wanting to use them all. Because we have a lot of other things to fill this in with. I just don't know. I and I do have another one of these, and then more of these. So we could kind of do something like that and then fill this in around it. I 
don't know how many of these I'm going to use, but I think you're you're meant to use a whole lot from the looks of these. You want to use a whole bunch, so you want to really fill it in. That one looks like a little too much, but I love that that way that it's it's like a swag almost, or just like swoops up. So I'm wondering if I should do the florals for or the leaves first and then the florals. Oh, I don't know where to start. This is how being a consultant works for me. <laughs> it's just real life. I'm I like I've always said I'm a crafter first and a consultant second and um so my crafts don't always go perfectly, turn out perfectly. I don't always only show the good stuff because I don't believe that's on very honest. Um, uh, now, I these are the parts where I held on with my tweezers, so you can see that it's not shiny, and so those are the parts that are going to be going in. And right now, I'm just kind of placing them in side, kind of in that particular pattern kind of thing. Um, I don't know that I want I'm quite so um, organized like it looks like it's what's the word? Very uniform I guess is the word. Right now I'm just working with the large ones and then once the large ones are all done or empty or gone or I've used them all or most of them until I feel this is right here. Okay, so this one's gonna have to go there. I think this is gonna have to go here. That just does not look right. Because I don't want to cover because whatever I do over here, I'm going to want to do over here. I don't necessarily have to, but I'm just kind of that type of person that needs to have it uh, balanced. And that is the last. Okay, so we're going to have to uh, balance this out a little bit. Because so I have plenty of small ones that I can use as well. And I'm actually kind of liking that. I don't know about that one there. It kind of, it's kind of throwing me off here a little bit. Because um, I don't know if putting the flowers here is going to be is going to look right. I'm starting to think that I need it down a little bit more. Okay, and that is totally not centered, so I'm going to have to scoot that over a little bit. Which means this one and probably one of these could probably come over here. We have that squished down in there. And this is kind of how this works. It's not all the same. Every time, I kind of like how that looks, sort of. I don't know. I don't know! Maybe I need them turned a little bit more. So it's not quite so spiky looking. And then have, I don't know. I want to do the leaves first because I don't really want to poke the leaves in because then it's going to get like extremely bulky. And so I think I would way rather have the... leaves on there first, the big leaves at least, and then have work on the medium flowers and then the smaller flowers. Ah! Losing them. I don't know if I want to add one there or if I want to add one in here or both. Both is too much. But I I like it there, but I also like it here. And then we're also going to have these, so you know, I gotta kind of balance this with those too, so and the small leaves as well. 
So I think I kind of like it a little bit less on the flowers. I like that, I think. Eat good, feel good. I like how that curves up. Okay, so I guess I'm going to take a quick picture of that and then I'm going to go ahead and start gluing the leaves down. And then once I glue, get the leaves in, in place, then I will come back and get you guys back on here and kind of go to town with the little ones and the flowers and get it all back on here. So I'm going to take a quick picture real quick. And so I got all of the big ones in. I don't know that that's exactly right, but I actually really like how that looks without the flowers. So hopefully when I add the flowers, <laughs> I'll like it even more. Fingers crossed, y'all. Fingers crossed. Um, I know that one's going in the center, so I might as well just add it now. Just a little bit of liquid glass. Stick it right down in the center and settle it. And then we'll have our next ones here, I think. Somewhere there and somewhere there. See how we can do this. I don't know that I want them smooshed. I like them open like they are. So we're going to give them their own space, which means they're going to be right about there, I think. And then, because I still have the small leaves to poke in there and these little frondy thingies. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that because I know that I like that. And let me pick out, I think we were going to do two more of the mediums. And then the smalls. Maybe I just want two mediums and two smalls. That could be. Oh, I'm not sure about this one. I think it needs to be scooped over or something. Like that. So that I can fit that in there decently. Okay, I like that. I'm perfectly fine without having the other ones on there. I've got m so much stuff that I don't, I mean, it doesn't need to be gigantic. Totally could be, but I don't need it to be myself. And I don't know if this is the amount of products that, like, leaves and stuff that I use is going to make a difference as far as seeing, you know, from seeing it from a distance compared to up close like I am. So I guess we'll just have to see, but either way, I guess it's going to end up the way it ends up, right? So I'm hoping I'm getting that fairly centered because it's going to look kind of funky if it's not. That one looks like it. Ooh, slippery. And I need to make sure that it's like level as far as... I guess I don't have to because flowers don't generally come that way, but I just can't help it. I want it that way. And I kind of want it to curve up a little bit, so I'm going to just stick those on there. With a bunch of liquid glass. And hopefully, that's up a little bit higher, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's all shifted over to the left a little bit more than I wanted it to be, but uh, I think that's alright. Not too worried about it. Now, I could totally take these little ones and add them in here if I wanted to. I'm catching things with my sweaters. My sweater, but... I just don't know that I want so many in there. I'm kind of looking, I have a little screen on my camera so I can look up from a top view and kind of see what I'm doing. Well, that still looks pretty. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I like the simplicity of that because I know that I've got all of this other stuff that I've got to put in here as well. Okay, so 
What do you think I should do? Add these first or add the leaves first? So there are some places that are just, it's just going to fit perfectly. So I think I'm just going to add the leaves. I don't know where I'm adding them. I am just going to add them. And I have a ton of them, so, and I don't have to add them all. Okay. And so, some of these I did the whole entire leaf, but the, the pointiest edge is the edge that I don't want to put my adhesive on. So if you guys get into a situation where that's the case, then that's kind of how you tell. I don't need a lot there, just a little bit. Okay. So that, I don't know if I can bring that up for you guys, that is it so far. And then next we're going to go ahead and get started on, so I have, <laughs> I have two leaves left. We're going to add in these little things here. So I'm not sure exactly if I even, you don't have to put these on there. Technically you can do whatever you want. I love a pop of gold. Or rose gold, whatever this is. I think this is copper. But some of these spots look like they could use a little bit of color so it breaks up the green a little bit. And I'm just kind of guessing. I don't even know. I don't know that I want that to be the same. And some of these are larger than others, so you have two different styles, which is nice. Um, I think these ones should probably be... I don't know, I don't know. I don't know that I need a lot of these. And you can definitely trim them down and make them smaller if you wanted to. Or trim off, like if you don't like this piece, you can trim that off, which actually I think might be a good idea. I'm gonna grab my scissors here. And I'm gonna trim off this little piece here. And then that can go in here. Add a little bit of color, but not an overabundance of color. Okay, so now I've got little ones left. And I feel like that should be it. I don't know if I like that. Maybe back here a little. Um, thinking of a smaller one, maybe. Like that. I actually like that. Okay, so I'm just going to go from left to right and stick these back in there. Just add a little bit of adhesive along these things here, like so. Oh, there's no way that's going to show you guys and then just add it in there and the one thing about the glossy leaves is this glossy accents is gonna blend it right in so you won't even have to worry about them leaving things on your leaves I'm trying to think that down there underneath would have been a nice place. Is that right? Is that where I had it? I hope that's where I had it. Cause 
I ain't changing it. You know what? I'm actually going to pull this whole thing off here. I don't like the larger piece. I want it smaller. Right in here. Just a little bit of, of color. Hoping just to stick some adhesive down in there. That it'll all work out right. Same with this one. work here like that I suppose and then I think we have one here and then we should be done so I think I started right there at the top of the there we go and see I don't I don't want these two to be the same height like as far as on the lay or I guess layout because and same with these I want them to be different different staggered so that it's not doesn't look so uniform and I think other than attaching it to the wall I think I'm done so I will uh, I will talk to you guys later I hope you guys enjoyed this it's kind of a long one that's why I kind of skipped through some of the process that are the repetitive parts of the process um, and I hope you guys will stop back by and join me with my next video uh, all of the information to the um, the magnolia frame kit will be linked below and um, I will um, I will also leave the uh, names of my, or the fonts that I used as well. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.